Hello dear viewers and welcome back to the Odoo 18 tutorial series by Cybrosis. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of procurement which is vendor price list. We learn how to create and manage price list in Odoo 18's purchase module. This will help you streamline your purchasing process and ensure accurate pricing for your product and services. So for now let's get started. First of all let's dive into the purchase module here. Okay, so this is the purchase module. And as you all know, we are going to create a vendor price list. Okay, so before that, uh, if you go to the configuration, you have the vendor price list over here. So I'm clicking on that. And you can see the different vendor price list which are already there. So you can see for large cabinet, we have different vendors. Okay, so for, for a, a lot of products, you can see different vendors are there. Okay, so I'll create a new vendor price list. So for that, you have to click on new and specify the name of the vendor. So I'm going to add the name of the vendor as, um, let it be Alexa. Okay. And then this is the vendor product name. So here you have to specify the name of the product that should be visible for the vendor. Before that, I'm choosing the product as large cabinet. Okay. So this is the large cabinet, which I'm chosen. So the large cabinets product name, I am showing it as LAR tab. Okay. So this is how this vendor will see the product name and the product code. So I'm giving the code as LC. Okay. And this is the delivery lead time. Okay. You know, the lead time in days between the confirmation of the purchase order and the receipt of the product in your warehouse used by the scheduler for automatic computation of the purchase order planning. So here I'm giving the delivery lead time as two days. Okay, two days. And here if you want to add any product variant, you can add it. The quantity can be added from here. So I'm giving the quantity as one. Okay, the unit price I'm setting it to 120. Okay, so that that will be the unit price. And here you can choose the validity so let's see what the validity is it's the start date of this for this vendor price so this can only last up till a particular date so here i'm giving you 28 till um, 10 okay so the start date as well as the end date is mentioned here so after this this vendor price list will go invalid and here's the discount i'm giving a 10 percent discount so this vendor price list is providing a 10 percent discount so this is how you create a vendor price list. I hope that part is clear for you all. Once you're done, you can save it. Okay. So if you go back to vendor price list, you can see for large cabinet, you have these much people as well as your Alexa is here. Okay. Now, if you go to the products, okay, here the products are. And let's choose this large cabinet. Okay. So here I'm searching large. So you can see the large cabinet here opening one okay now if you go to the purchase tab you can see the different vendors who are there so currently the priority for the vendors is in this order so by default if you choose this product this person will be the vendor okay the default vendor for this particular product will be wood corner okay so if you want to change it what you have to do is you have to drag and drop it okay so you can see the lead time of wood corner is three days the quantity is one and the price is 750. So I'll know one thing. I'll go to orders and you know, this is the RFQ. I'm going to create a new one for wood corner. Okay. Or simply let's choose the product, which is large cabinet. So here is large cabinet. I've chosen that. And here comes wood corner. Okay. So you can see 28. 29, 30, 31, which is three days is taken as the lead time. So obviously, if you go to the internal link of the product, you can see three days is the lead time, which is of the vendor wood corner. So here you can see the delivery lead time is three here. The quantity is one and the price is 750. If you go back, you can see the quantity is one and the price is 750 over here. Okay, so now let's do one thing. Let's change the vendor. So here I am going to change the vendor to... Oh, here it be Alexa. Okay, so as you've chosen Alexa, you can see the difference here. 
So this was the label which I have given the code as well as the name of the product that should be visible to this particular person. So this is what I have given. LC was the code as well as LAR, CAB was the product. So if you just remove it and try to add it once again. Okay, so if you search for cabinet or simply choose LC, you have this here. So obviously this label will be taken there. So that's it. That's how your code and the name of the product is set. And this is the quantity as well as the unit price. And here you can see the expected arrival and the order deadline that has changed. So here it takes only two days. So that was the, you know, delivery lead time which I've provided, but that was two days. Okay. So once you've done that, you can see here you have the unit price. The tax is 15% each. Okay, let it the tax be 15% each and you can see the total is 124. Okay, so the total amount is shown here and the total amount is 124. Okay, so if you don't choose the tax here, what happens is that it will take the tax of that of the price list. Okay, so let's see how the calculation goes. So here let the tax be 15% itself. So now let me show you the calculations. Okay, so as you all know, the unit price is 120 and we've applied a discount of 10% over here. Okay, so this is the tax amount of the product. Okay, and what happens is that you can see it's 124.20. So we all know that here, like, let me show you something. 120 plus the tax, which is 16.20. The amount should be, that is the total amount should be obviously 136.2. But here you can see it's 124.20. So it's very obvious that our tax amount has been, I mean, the discount amount has been applied on it, right? So let me show you that very quick. So how to do that is here is the total, which usually we get by applying 15% of the tax. Okay. And you all know that 10% was the discount, which I applied. So 10% of 120 is obviously 12. So I am minusing, that is subtracting the you know number that is 12 with this total if you give that you can see 124.2 is the you know total which we get and that is the total which is taken over here so this is how simply you can you know generate or you can you know create a new vendor price list and apply it to an rfq okay so it's that simple so this is how basically you can manage the vendor price list Okay, I hope this is clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.